Welcome to Deer Creek Mackinac CUSD 701 website tips and tricks. My name is Cassandra Bilyeu and I'll be leading you around the admin portion of our website showing you some really useful tips and tricks. The first thing I'd like to show you is if you've forgotten your password. When you go to log in you're going to click on your address bar and type in dmac.org slash admin and this will take you to the back end of our website. Here you'll put in your username and information so I'm going to put in my username and let's say you forgot your password. Right here you have the forgot your password link. Simply click on that and it'll send it to your email. So when you log in to the website you want to make sure that your information is correct. Under site tools my profile double check that your email is correct so that way you are ensured that if you do forget your password you can get it sent out to your email quickly and easily. Another thing you'll need to do is turn on your pop-up blocker. The admin portion of the website uses pop-ups frequently to make sure that you don't have to navigate around too much. To do this you're going to go to tools, pop-up blocker, and turn off pop-up blocker. If you use Firefox, it's also identical. You'll go to Tools, Options. On your Content tab, you're going to want to uncheck Block Pop-Up Windows. You can also put in an exception to not block pop-up windows for dmac.org and then Allow. The back end of the website operates similar to SysK12 in that you should not use your navigation buttons in Internet Explorer or Firefox. So you should omit using the back button, the refresh button. Instead, get in the habit of using admin home to go back or any of the other main buttons that are up here on the menu area. If you're having issues or you need rights to something that you know you don't have, go ahead and write me a message and you're going to do so right on your admin home on the messages area. You're going to write new. So let's write one to me. Cassandra and it'll come up. You want to use CBill you this is my admin account and the subject would be rights to folders. Let's say that you teach multiple courses but you're only seeing rights to one of the courses. You're going to have to tell me what you need rights to. So let's say that you teach math, English, and PE at the junior high. You're going to need rights to all of those folders. You have to be as descriptive as possible because if you tell me just the junior high, that's too wide. I have to give rights to each individual folder. Or, for instance, your special education. And you want to have a course under each grade level. And you want to indicate to people that fifth grade reading could be a special one or that you want to include create courses under the SPED category for the intermediate school. So I could create fifth grade reading, a sixth grade reading, etc. A great feature that allows you to just see the pages that belong to you or anything that belongs only to you is Show Mine Only. So if this is right here and we check it, it'll only show the things that you have permission for. For instance, I am the sponsor of French Club, Technology Club, and I also teach foreign language. So I only have the pages that I have permission to edit. You can also access this under Modules Staff Directory show mine only and that will allow it to just show the ones that you have permission to actually change. You can always uncheck this to see everything or check it to just see the ones that you have permission to. I'm going to show you now how to deal with adding pages or sub pages. Go ahead and click on pages and right here we have my department foreign language and French 1. I have many different units here. Let's say I want to add unit 6. There's two ways that I can do this. I can mouse over French 1 and add 
a subpage, and it would be the last one because unit 6 would come after 5. If I want to add it directly after unit 5 as well, I can mouse over unit 5 and add below. Adding a page is at the same level that it is for the unit or for the course. So if I wanted to add French 5, I could mouse over, add below. So we're dealing with the same level of folders versus adding a subpage means that it's going to nest under French 1. And this you can just use to add first or last in your list of items. You can also move them around. To do that, you need more rights. If you need those moved, go ahead and just shoot me a message in the back end. If you need to get help, there's a simple feature. At any point, you can go ahead and mouse over the Help button on the upper right hand side of the website, and you can see Support Site Manuals, the Support Site, support forum or you can actually contact the support department. If you'd like to actually get some more information about what's going on with the website, how to do things, get a little bit of extra training, there's extensive information on the support site. They have manuals, videos, and also updated manuals each year. These are the ones that have been updated recently right here. This concludes the website tutorial. I'm Cassandra Billiou. If you have any questions, please go ahead and email me at cbillieu at dmac.org. Thank you.